Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to hop on and do another haul video. Um, I did stop at another Hobby Lobby just to check them out and see if they had any more clearance. Um, also, I went because I got this die last week at Hobby Lobby in Fort Wayne. And when I opened it up, it has the numbers, but not the letters. So, and I can't return it because I don't have my receipt. And Sizzix, I emailed them and they said they can't do anything without a receipt. So, I'm pretty much SOL. And so I guess I got an extra set of letter or numbers instead of the letters. So, that stinks. But, it is what it is. I'll just have to buy it on Amazon or something. Um, so at this Hobby Lobby, I did stop and to see if they had that and then just to check their clearance um, I did see this at the other Hobby Lobby but I didn't pick it up um, it's a storage case and you can store like your markers and your pens and stuff and some images and you can take them on the road so I thought this would be good for like a crop or if we go on a little road trip I could take some stamped images and some markers and stuff like that and put them in this so and it has a little closure right here, so I thought I would get that. And it was only goodness gracious, three seventy four versus fifteen. And then I picked up this paper pad. It was two ninety nine, Darling Dearest. Figured I'd pick that up. I picked up this die set, three twenty four. You can never have too many florals. Um, I picked up this die set for $3.24. It's birds. So I thought I'd pick that one up. Um, I did pick up some fall stuff. Um, I did pick up these flowers. These were 40% off. So I picked these up. And then I also picked these fall things up because I think I'm going to make a like, shadow box for fall themed. So I thought these would come in handy for those and those were 40% off. And then for more clearance, I did pick up the spare parts uh, screw fasteners. Thought those would be really cute on like mini albums or some of my shadow boxes or something. And it was only $1.24. I picked up all three packages of these buttons. Um, but they are like flat back, like bubbles almost. So I thought I would... Oh, they're not flat back. They do have a button thing. But that's okay. I can cut that part off. But I thought those were cute, so I picked those up. And then I picked up these butterflies because I seen, I think it was Craft Purge. She was going to use them for Halloween type crafting, so I thought that would be a great idea. So I picked that up for $0.74. Cents. And then I did pick up two stamp sets. I picked up this coupon, good for good for and it says like all these different things and it's three seventy four and there's that one and then I also picked up this uh, Hero Arts uh, Polyclear it's a uh, Prote fe Flowers Prote Flowers so I thought these were really pretty colored in and stuff plus it has a um, Happy Mother's Day stamp and I don't have very many of those and then I did pick up a shadow or a photo box because I need more of those but it stinks like I opened it up and it stinks like really bad I sprayed it with some spray and it still stinks so I think I'm gonna have to air it out for a while because I don't want to put stuff in it and then it stink but it smells like really bad like formaldehyde or something like it smells terrible so I'm gonna let that air out it's actually giving me a headache because it stinks so bad. Um, and then I did pick up this self-adhesive vinyl. I thought this would be really cute if I cut out like Crafty Reasons or something like that or Crafty Girl or something like that and put it on my laptop. I thought this would be really pretty. So we'll see. And it was on clearance for $0.62 cents, so I thought it would be worth trying out. And then Paper Studios was half off so I did pick up this uh, 12 by 12 uh, post bound or three ring scrapbook page refill because I need more so I picked those up so that is my haul from Hobby Lobby again make sure that you check your dies because um, when you get home and don't throw away your receipt because you never know what's inside the package apparently 
But yeah, this was brand new, never opened that I know of. And it had the numbers and not the letters, so I don't know how that would have happened, but it did. So yeah, that's my haul. Hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty time. Bye guys.